Hey everyone, this week I review the latest addition to SNK's long-running series of fighting games. Can Terry Bogard, Joe Higashi and k Dash conquer the Legions of Chaos? Or will they beg for forgiveness and mercy in front of the Demon Prince? Let's find out. <laughs> The King of Fighters series has been around since the time when the fighting game genre was in its infancy. The first game of the series, Fatal Fury, was released in 1991. Since then, the developers, SNK, has been more or less been dominating the fighting game scene. They've been the responsible for the development of many other fighting game genres, franchises. Samurai Shodan and its prequel, Last Blade, to name a few. Today, the 20th entry in the King of Fighters series got released. The story is the beginning of a whole new saga and the fourth story arc within the King of Fighters series. A mysterious billionaire, the self-proclaimed first champion, bought all the rights to the King of Fighters tournament. Many of the classic participants of the legendary tournament were entered via an official invitation who was going to be mixing it up with newcomers. The accessibility scores are as follows. Right, to kick off proceedings, visibility give it 10.5. Each character has nine color combinations, which can be changed via the character or team select screen. Although there is a lot of color combinations, Per character, fully customizable character appearance would make this game slightly more accessible. This was a thing in King of Fighters 13. So, although this game is highly accessible for a player with a visual impairment, the character customization from its predecessor could make this game much more accessible. Next on the agenda, Audibility gave it 10. In terms of spoken dialogue, this entry of the series takes things back to its arcade roots. There is little important dialogue between characters during the course of the game. Even at that, the dialogue is subtitled. So a player with a hearing impairment should find no issues when playing this game. Next up, Mobility has scored a sky high 11. As part of the course for the fighting game genre, the button inputs can be completely customized via the options menu. This can be a lifeline in a highly competitive situation, for example a fighting game where a single frame input could mean the difference between victory and defeat. So for a mobility impaired player, this could be a deal breaker. So a player with a mobility impairment should find no issues when playing this game. To make this game more accessible for a player with a mobility impairment, you can use the game's combo system mechanic. To all the members of the community who are unfamiliar what Combo Assist is, Combo Assist is a little AI assistance when performing a combo attack on your opponent when using a single button repeatedly. Although the set of members of the fighting game community may classify that as cheating, but here's the thing. Performing multiple inputs can be difficult, even impossible, for a player with a mobility impairment. So in some cases, the use of a little combo assist in some fighting games can be classified as permissible. So guys, what do you think about that? Let me know down in the comments. Last but certainly not least, gameplay give it 10. Now, I have played numerous fighting games in my time. However, this game truly stands out from the crowd. This game is suitable for both beginners and seasoned veterans of fighting games. Graphically, it may not be true of next-gen quality, but in saying that, since when does a fighting game need fancy graphics and stage backgrounds? As I said earlier on in the review, there are numerous mechanics, for example combo assist, which makes the game a lot easier for both players with mobility impairments and beginners, with a few additional mechanics to cater for, for King of Fighters veterans, for example, max cancelling. In summary, King of Fighters 15 is a very refined, polished fighting game. The developer's flair in fighting games is shown in this entry of the franchise. If you are into fighting games, I seriously cannot recommend this game enough to you. Seriously, buy it now. 
and the overall score is a massive 103.75%. See you guys in the next review, Sparta Commander 1998. Roll out Spartan Legion. Thank you.